As some of you guys may already know, I've been a little bit under the weather last few days, but man, oh man, dude, does citron honey tea do the trick? <sighs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new creepy story video on my channel. Now it's been a couple of days since we last had a creepy reading video, and I think that's more than enough time for a break. I hope you guys are ready, okay? Because this one is a thriller. Today, we are going to be reading a short story called Fasting, originally by Kazui Umezu, and this is the remake version, I guess, by Hisachi. Iguchi. All right, guys. I mean, just take a look at that cover photo. I mean, that is horrifying to say the least. Dude, please don't tell me this involves dolls, okay? I don't know about you guys, but dolls are hella creepy to me. Anyways, guys, without further ado, okay, let's just get right into it. Let's just get into the video, get into the scary story. I am definitely not procrastinating or delaying. All right, grab your bottle of popcorn. Let's go. Fasting. It's another day at school for this... Schoolgirl. She looks sad. It looks like she's staring at someone. I'm not exactly sure who. You hate me? Wh why? Why? You think a guy like me would be into a fat girl like you? Retard? Damn, dude, what? Wow, well, that escalated quickly. What is going on here? Is this a breakup or a rejection? I mean, I'm not exactly sure where this relationship started or took off or died, but I'm assuming what just happened was our female heroine, uh, lead character, I guess she's not a heroine unless she's a superhero. Spoiler alert. Just kidding. No, but seriously. Seems like a typical love story between a girl who likes, I don't know, the most popular guy and he doesn't like her back because of her looks. Pretty common, right? Yo, okay, this should be interesting. Let's keep going. <sighs> Don't think I'm interested in you just because I hung out with you once, dumb b Damn, dude, this boy's gotta watch his mouth, dude. Her legs are trembling, dude. Damn, you really tore into that girl. What girl? She's a whale. <laughs> Damn, dude, like, I'm almost about to start crying too. That is just straight up mean. Guys, I know, like, these kinds of characters, like, really snotty, bratty, evil characters. I mean, let's be real. Nobody in real life acts this evil, right? One hundred billion dollars. Right. All right. I mean, you guys might have a couple people like this in your school or whatever, but for the most part, like even the worst bullies have a little bit of compassion and they're not this mean. But you know what? It gets the job done, okay? Because the point of making a character so despicable is so that you really won't like them. And it also helps you like the main character because you can sympathize with them. All right, let's keep going. Later that night. Tomoko, you still haven't eaten. Hmm. She slams her hand on the desk. Tomoko? She makes her way up the stairs, as they, I guess, make thudding noises. She goes into her room. She looks in the mirror, and she covers it in clothes, I guess symbolizing that she doesn't want to look at herself anymore. She lays down in her bed, pulls the covers over her. I'll show them. I'll definitely, definitely lose weight. <laughs> the next day. Haha. <laughs> Oh. Tomoko waits to cross the street. As she does, it seems like her stomach growls. She's hungry, dude, of course. Uh, only a single bite of an apple again today? Again? Oh, snap, dude. Has she only been eating, like, a bite out of her apple every day? That's enough already, Tomoko. You're destroying your body. Oh, dude, is that her? Dude, she looks different. Later that night. Creak. Brr, it's really gotten cold. Oh? The mom looks into one of the rooms. She sees Tomoko sitting in front of the refrigerator with the doors open. Dude, it looks like she's just eyeing up all the food, man. She's starving herself, dude. She's hungry. What is she doing, though? It looks so good. Pudding. Nikujaga. Ah, uh, mentaiko. Mentaiko? Ah, uh, mentaiko with rice. Oh, damn, dude. She, she changed. Only look. I must only look. Dude, the mom, look at her face. She is horrified at what's happening to her daughter. Uh-oh, someone's pulling off the sheets of her mirror. Uh-oh, looks like she's about to reveal herself. <gasps> I'm... I'm... I'm beautiful. Yeah, dude, damn, dude, she... Wow. Okay, but let's be real. I mean, it's only been a couple of days. You're not gonna look like that. And yes, she's gorgeous right now, but I mean, of course, it's just for the story. I mean, she looks nothing like what she looked like before. She should at least resemble her older self. Like, a little bit, right? It's okay, guys. It's just a story. The next day. I've finally done it. Everything suits me. So this is what losing weight is all about. Now, for the first time, I understand Akira-kun's feelings. Ha, <sighs> Akira-kun. Later that day. Looks like your boy Akira-kun is in a gas station parking lot. Akira-kun? Uh -huh. 
he notices a strange girl coming out from the shadows. <laughs> it's me. Come on, don't you remember? You're... Uh, I don't remember, but she's beautiful. Would you like to go out with me? Damn, dude, she really is gorgeous. Like, she's a 10. That's amazing. Yo, whatever weight loss program she's on, you sign me up, okay? I'm, let me get that. T totally, I'd be glad to. In my mind, I was yelling out, I did it. Oh, damn, dude, they making out. It's going down in a gas station parking lot. And at that moment, the appetite which I had suppressed for so long suddenly came to a head. Oh my gosh, dude, what the funk, dude? I did not see that. I mean, I see that, but I didn't see that coming. Holy moly, she hungry. That's why I keep telling you, girl, you should eat your food. Holy hell, okay, yo, okay. Let, let's get to the next image, okay, guys? If, you, if you're faint of heart, okay, don't look, okay? If you're hungry, don't look. I mean, like, I'm hungry, she's hungry, but if you're hungry, don't look. <sighs> When I came to my senses, I had eaten a kirakun. The end. Damn, dude. <sighs> wow. Well, I just gotta say, um... In your face, Akira Kun! That's what you get for being a snobby brat, okay? I knew you were gonna die from the moment you opened your mouth. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I actually feel bad for the guy. Nobody deserves to go out that way, okay? But dude, that twist ending and like how violent and graphic it got it like so fast. Well... I think this is a great time to talk about the sponsor of today's video, the HelloTalk app. The HelloTalk app, of course, is one of the best language learning apps available. All you gotta do is download the app, create an account, upload a cute profile picture, and then that's it. You are ready to start mingling with new people and start learning a new language. I've said this before, guys, but I have personally used HelloTalk to help me practice my Korean before they ever reached out to me. And whether it's Korean, Japanese, Spanish, they have over 150 different languages to choose from and start learning today. Some of the moments that I personally think are cool are the moments feature, where you can post pictures or statuses about language and others can actually comment on it. And probably one of the coolest functions of HelloTalk is the translation function. With just the push of a button, you can translate text from a foreign language into your own language to help you learn fast. You can even get transliterations and speak to text. So if you guys are interested in learning a new language, feel free to click the link down below and download HelloTalk today. And with that said guys, let's talk about this story for a minute. Please let me know your thoughts, comments, concerns concerns down below. Honestly, I thought this was a killer short story. It, like, for being, like, only, like, I think 10 pages long, damn, dude. The twist and, you know, the build-up, I think it definitely paid off, and I think it was worth it. But I, I will say, like, I'm a little bit curious what happens to uh, Tomoko after she realizes she has this, um, thirst for blood. Or should I say, hunger. Yo, the only person that's got a thirst is me. <sighs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new, and turn on my post notifications so you're never late to a new video. Also guys, I am live streaming on Twitch every day. Be sure to click the link in the description to join me and the Toast Army because we are lit over there. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Good night. Okay, I don't want you to miss, miss anything. Three weeks later. We won! Yeah! Victory! Terry, you must talk in French. Uh... <laughs> I'm joking, oui, oui, you don't have to. Part of the French, so... <laughs> How's that? You're that actually game? good! Oh, shut up. That was terrible, Liz. You were well. We have to leave. Now! Let's get the funk out of here. Alright, is that too many funks in a row? Sorry. Norma looks like she ate Nutella! <laughs> Oh my gosh, Ito, that's a good one. Alarm! I beat the- oh, Back off! <sighs> Wake up. Wake up. <sighs> Ito, why are you beating up Chiyuni, dude? What the fuck? Or one, okay? Zero's for amnesia, one is for walking dead. Zero, amnesia, one for walking dead. Zero, amnesia, one, walking dead. Oh, that's, um... I haven't, um, finished all my coffee yet, sorry. It's for the, uh, cringe level, you know, 3.0. I apologize, just, sorry guys. I'm sorry, just forgive me, please, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, 
I don't know. I don't know what came over me. Stop it. Get some help. 